How's it going guys? It's Darren with muzzleloaders.com. Today we are out at the pit with Nate Savage and uh, we are going to be shooting some bullets into ballistic gel. We're going to be shooting the Hornady Bore Driver, the Power Belt ELR, and the Thor Lightning. And uh, we're going to see how they perform uh, at ballistic gel at 25 yards. So now let's go take a look at the ballistic gel we made. All right, this is the ballistic gel that I made in my garage uh, using Knox gelatin, and it turned out really, really well. Um, I will put a link to the YouTube video that I used to make this gelatin, just in case you wanna make some yourself. Um, there is an option to put hydrogen peroxide in here to make it a little clearer. I said that I don't think we need it. Nate said that he thinks we do, and it ended up turning out a little bit darker than what we had hoped, but it's still pretty see-through, so I think it's still gonna work, but I did tell Nate that he could say, I told you so. I told you so. Okay, there I go. <laughs> say it. So, um, yeah, so we're, this is a 21 inch ballistic gel block. We're going to be shooting three bullets, one on the side, middle, and other side. And we're going to see how deep they go into this gel. Just in case they do go all the way through, we have this high tech half inch plywood here to catch the bullet just in case. So, we're going to start out with the ELRs. We have the Traditions Nitro Fire Vapor. Uh, we're using the 120 grain fire sticks, and that's already sided in and ready to go with those ELRs. So, uh, let's go ahead and get to it do it we got the lab radar set up too um, that way we can measure velocities on this stuff um, we're going to be measuring the velocities from all the shots we take into the ballistic gel that way you guys kind of know okay you're pushing this velocity this is the kind of penetration you're looking at what are you expecting to see from the uh, ELRs Nate well they're a very uh, non-traditional tip so I think they're we're going to get quite a bit of penetration with a little less expansion than some of the other bullets we're going to test today but that's just my preliminary assumption so yeah i agree i think that the uh well they're also the heaviest bullet we're going to be shooting today too i think that's going to make an impact i think if any of these bullets have a chance of going all the way through it's probably these elrs yeah. i'm excited we're going to start off with those nate's going to take a shot right in the middle of the ballistic gel with this and uh, then we're going to see what happens Good placement. Knocked the bottom of the board right out though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're gonna have to go uh, take a look at that. <laughs> Did it direct the bullet down? I don't know. We got almost 2,000 feet per second on that one. All right, let's, let's go check see what it out. Got. Oh man. Yeah, perfect placement. That went clean through. Hit right there, bounced off, should be somewhere around here. Right, Look at that. Take... Look at that terminal performance. Massive wound channel, man. Massive. Absolutely insane. Some pieces of jacket there. Let's see if we can get a good side view in here. Massive wound channel. Oh. There's no gelatin. Put that gel back together. All right, Nate, what are we seeing here with the uh, ELR performance in this ballistic gel block? Well, I've done extensive research, Darren, on different ballistics and how they're supposed to perform and what it takes to really make an effective kill shot on an animal to harvest that animal, you know, ethically. Uh -huh. And, I mean, this is ideal performance, in my opinion. You've got a massive wound channel, which is going to immediately go, you know, as soon as that bullet gets into the animal. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got about six inches there before terminal performance, which is right in that zone of lungs, heart, whatever you're going to yeah. be shooting at in that animal. And then it just, terminal performance right there. Yeah, sure. And then the rest of the slug comes out the back. You've got some really good chunks in there to kind of spread out as well and, and affect other internal organs. Yeah. But then you've got this really nice slug that goes through, which is going to cause your blood trail out the other side as well. I mean, that is that is great performance out of a bullet in my opinion. All right. Well, let's get back to it. All right, Nate, what are your expectations for the uh, board driver? Well, with the design of this bullet, I think it's going to make a really big wound channel. I would say it's probably not gonna come out the other side, but I said that once and was wrong. 
Uh, but yeah, just the design and with the tip, I think it's going to have a lot of expansion. Yeah, I agree. I think it'll make uh, a bigger wound channel than the ELR, but... I'm excited to see this performance because I, I think that um, we've tested a lot with these bullets and had incredible accuracy, uh, but I have no idea how they perform on like an organic target. So I think shooting them into this ballistic gel is going to give us a lot of crucial information on this. So let's get into it. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, it is. Uh, let me get back here in my sweat lodge. Oh, man. <laughs> That one went for a loop. <laughs> that blew it up, dude. 2,069 feet per second. That is cruising. All right, let's go see what we got. <sighs> so I think my prediction on this one was correct. It did not go through the backside and the terminal performance at the beginning of the gel is twice the size of the other one. So really just depending on your application, either one of these bullets is gonna work phenomenally, just depends on what you're hunting. Got some uh, pieces of... Some pieces of eight? Pieces of bullets. Uh, I don't see a slug in the ballistics gel. That thing just made all kinds of damage. If I just had to make a recommendation, I would probably say that I would use this bullet personally for deer, uh -huh. and I would use this bullet here for elk. Yeah, I, I agree with that. So what we're seeing here with the uh, board driver versus the ELR, so the ELR did not have as much of an expansion at first. It expanded pretty good at to about uh, nine inches, and then you had a slug that penetrated like crazy. Went all the way through the ballistics gel, impacted our board back here. The Hornady board driver, what we're seeing right now, is that you have about nine inches of penetration that is significantly, uh, you have a much larger wound channel, Massive. more shrapnel, all that kind of stuff, but it did not penetrate uh, it penetrated only about half as far as the ELR. So like Nate's saying, I think the board driver, probably an incredible uh, deer round. I think that the ELR, I'd probably recommend more for elk mm -hmm. just because you need that extra penetration. Yep. You're impacting that extra bone. Yeah. And so you need some of that stuff. But Moves. honestly, both bullets, extremely impressive. This has a nice little entry hole, goes in a few inches and then has the expansion. This goes in about an inch. And then, I mean, you can see in there just a colossal amount of damage. Just, I mean, there's pieces of bullet in the gel, in the thing. Pretty impressive. Hey, look at that. Ballistic tip for you. Oh. Huh. <laughs> all right. Well, no slug in that one. So, and it didn't go all the way through. So it must have just totally turned yeah. into energy. Yep. Yep. That's cool. what it looks like. Beautiful. Blobby's ready to go. All right, Nate. We have the Thor bullet. We're going to be shooting into the ballistics gel. I think about after this shot, the ballistics gel is going to be pretty well used up. Yeah. Um, so my expectation is that uh, we're going to have good expansion on this. We know the Thor has good weight retention. Um, I'm curious to see if it goes all the way through, but uh, what, okay. what are your thoughts? What velocity? Because this is also the lightest bullet. So the just if you guys aren't aware, 50 cal ELR is a 330 grain bullet. The board driver is a 290. And then finally, the Thor is a 250. So what do you think we're going to get here? 2238. 2238. Okay, my money is going to be in 2150. Okay. I think it's going to be You've a little You've got lower. more experience, so you got the edge on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get this baby rolling. Let's do it. Crawl into my sauna. Going hot. Oh, dude, you can see the wound channel from here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's 21. exciting. 2157. Oh, dude. You can... 2157? You're Seriously? You're pretty stinking close. Dude, I was, I was right on, off right by seven on feet there. per second. Yeah. That doesn't, doesn't get much more accurate than that. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Terribly awesome. All, all right. right, let's go check it out. Did not go all the way through, it looks like. Oh, wait, nope. 
It definitely did go all the way through. That's no joke. That is a beautiful wound channel. The petals on this, on this wound channel, are just beautiful. No slug. Oh, it bounced off somewhere. Oh, hey. Oh, man. Does not get much better than that. It's hot. <laughs> it's burning my fingers. I'm going to set it here. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a pedal. That's some beautiful pedaling. Man, that thing is absolutely scorching hot. So it only lost two pedals. That's pretty impressive. And that could be just due to the ballistics gel. We have pulled, uh, we've had some customers bringing us in after firing them and all the petals are still there. The ballistics gel might be a little more dense than an actual animal. So it really, I mean, that really pedaled. I have, I don't think I've seen one pedal quite that far before, but that was cooking. So what I would say is unique about this wound channel versus other bullets that I've seen in ballistics gel is the pedaling on this right here, this wound channel is very unique and uniform instead of sporadic, yeah. which usually signifies a controlled expansion, which we can see here. You can see the other pedal here. Here's, we recovered one pedal, which was way over here, and that pedal right there. And then it looks like it actually kind of curved just a little bit on our trajectory. And the only reason it came through the oh, other man. side is probably because it came through this other bullet hole right here. Let's see. Let's see that right there. Came, came right out here. So your entrance wound, your entrance wound looks it's nothing. small, which is perfect. Looks nothing, yeah, it's small. Looks nothing like the, uh, looks nothing like the board driver. Yeah, I would say it's closer to the ELR where it's got that one inch of oh. penetration first, maybe two inches, and then it does this absolutely perfect terminal performance yeah. pedaling. And that, Crazy. that is ridiculously mushroomed. Yeah, seriously. Most of the Thors I've seen that people have covered from an animal are less mushroomed than this, but they're probably not shooting them at 2150. <laughs> yeah, they're probably also not shooting them at 25 yards. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, so we are done, and in summary, uh, Nate and I had an awesome time out here shooting uh, the ballistics gel. We actually were able to recover the, the Hornady board driver, which uh, earlier we said that it had shrapneled. That was fake news, that did not happen. This is what the board driver looks like right here. Uh, really excellent mushroom. Uh, we also were able to recover the ELR. We had to look for it for a little while, but Nate was able to find it. And another excellent mushroom, good penetration on that one. And then we obviously had the Thor, which we showed you guys earlier. So um, really happy with the performance of all three of these. I think the Boar Driver, overall, probably the best deer bullet I've ever seen. ELR and Thor, uh, they're pretty well-rounded. I think you could use those on elk and deer, uh, but really uh, excellent for elk because of their, their additional penetration. Maybe um, a moose. What's up? Maybe a moose. Maybe a moose. Yeah, if you're going to be going to Alaska. I saw some moose in Alaska. They're huge. Yeah. Um, but yeah, all these bullets really good. Had a lot of fun. Uh, right now, we're going to go back to the office. We're going to weigh these out uh, to determine what weight retention they had. And we'll plug that in right here. How did I get this to stay when we were out shooting the first time? All right, guys, we are back from the range. And I think the results might surprise some of you. First off, we shot the ELR bullet, and we decided to measure this two different ways. We decided to measure it with the plastic on and with the plastic off. The actual weight of this bullet, the way that it is measured, is without the plastic on the back like such. But our little guy decided that he was gonna hang on to that tiny little piece of plastic on the back there just a little bit. So we measured it both ways for those of you that are hyper specific and like those details like myself. Without the plastic on there, it was 331.2 grains to start and it ended up at 169.2, which is a 51% weight retention, which is pretty stinking good. I'd have no problem shooting this guy in the field. Has a great mushroom on it. Fantastic penetration, as you recall from the video. It went straight through the ballistics gel out the other side and still put a pretty decent sized dent in there, but still had awesome terminal performance on the ballistics gel itself. Then we measured it with the plastic, and with the plastic it started at 336.2, and then ended up at 167.8, which is a 49.9% weight reduction. Next, we shot the bore driver, Hornady bore driver. It started out at 289.8 without the plastic, like so, and ended up at 130.3, 
3, which is a 45% weight retention. Pretty impressive, big mushroom on it. I mean, that's going to do some massive damage. Last but certainly not least, we have the Thor Bullet. And it started off at 249 grains and it ended up looking like this. We lost a couple petals, which is uncommon with what we've seen out of these but we were really ripping it out there at a shorter distance of 25 yards. That's probably the biggest mushroom I've ever seen on a Thor bullet. They're usually just a nice uniform mushroom. Did lose two petals into the ballistics gel, is what it is. It still ended up at 209.1 grains, which is a 83.9% weight retention and cleaned all the way through the ballistics gel. So that was pretty impressive, had great terminal performance, big wound channel, and probably the most uniform wound channel that we saw just because of the pedal design, I think, and cleaned all the way through, bounced off the back of the wood, and landed on the ground. If you like more content like this, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you think. If you have more questions, we'd be happy to answer them.